Everything begins with a DXF file containing the profile of the part to be created. Contour is then adjusted to meet the technological needs. Following this, that part is duplicated so that it covers the entire usable surface of the photo mask. And so begins the preparation of the silicon medium, otherwise known as the wafer, which is then covered by a thin layer of gold, followed by a layer of photosensitive resin. The thickness of the photosensitive layer depends on the thickness of the part to be manufactured. The photo mask is then placed over the wafer, and UV iridation of the resin can begin. The rays traverse the photo mask and polymerize the resin, making this a typical example of photo manufacturing because the part mold is created using light. The wafer is then immersed in a solvent to dissolve the non-polymerized resin. The part mold is now finished and ready to be filled with metal. The wafer is immersed in a galvanic bath and undergoes voltage in order to start galvanic part growth. Atom by atom, the cavities are filled with metal. Many metals can be used, such as nickel alloys and even 24 karat gold. Component's final thickness is guaranteed by grinding and lapping of the wafer in order to achieve the part specification. The final step is to dissolve the photosensitive resin and the wafer, thereby releasing the components. These parts are of an incredible precision, an irreproachable quality and ready to use. Mimitech, the world's most advanced UV Liga microcomponents manufacturing company.